This is more by Richard Deacon here in Victoria Park. It was commissioned in 1990 by Television South West for the Four Cities project. I used to go to Dartmoor a lot. It figures a little bit in the title of the work. But from the park, you see it in the distance, like a uh, a landscape feature. So it kind of, uh, you can see it from quite a long way from the park. Uh, because of the way the curve works, it kind of, it's curved, but also it's, uh, it's offset. So the, uh, from one side, from uh, um, uh, the north, if you look through it, uh, the opening looks much bigger than it does from when you look through it from the south. It kind of seems to be much more compressed. From the train, you part because the work has this. It's on a curve on the railway, and the work itself is also curved. So you, uh, it opens up as you go around it. So it, you have a sense of kind of uh, passing. Uh, and uh, obviously, when you look out through it, then you're framing something. I knew the site very well. You know, I used to run past it every day for um, all the time when I was a teenager. It's a piece of sculpture, so it looks different from wherever you stand. Working on a commission with a local firm is important in the, on the level of community. Uh, it establishes uh, um, a sense of ownership, uh, pride. And I didn't know Blight and White at all. So you know, from my point of view, it was really interesting. And it's a huge thing. Uh, but they made it with no, uh, with no issues. I think bridges are, uh, uh, are really interesting structures. Uh, metaphorically, they're kind of great. You know, they're... Uh, bridge between things you know connections engineering wise they're often really fantastic structures you know it's a really it's a really interesting project to go across an empty space bridge connects two things together a kind of ideal model for an art world